Uh, we lived, as I said, five minutes from here. It was during the Depression years. My mother, in order to uh, make a living, more or less, she brought in three or four kids, the doctor's son, uh, when they went on vacation, the lawyer's son, whatever. And she used to take care of them for a week or so. And so it was a little, she called it a little mini camp. Talk about in your wildest dreams. What were your dreams back then? I thought we'd just have a small camp. I didn't ever think that it would get grow to this size. I mean, we have close to 800 children a day, every day during the summer. I had the feeling that this was my thing and this is the way I did it. And obviously it worked. The community accepted In my that. wildest dreams, it worked. <laughs> My wife and I were out celebrating uh, one night that we were not pregnant with number five. And we were having dinner and the woman at the table next to us, she took out her card and said, if you ever want anything in the way of real estate, look me up. And she said, let's talk about what you're looking for. I said, I was looking for a place to build a children's summer day camp. She said, well, I've got that. Meet me tomorrow morning at 10.30. And uh, we met. I wrote out a check for $100. I said, that's all I've got in the bank at the moment. Uh, please don't cash this. Give me a week <laughs> to get the down payment. We immediately started to uh, talk around. We got children to sign up to a camp that really almost didn't exist. You said that you had about 800 campers per day. Yes. Uh, wild, wildest dreams, wild guess. But how many campers do you think you've had come through here oh. over 53 years? Thousands and thousands. And many are repeat campers? Oh, yeah, a tremendous number. I mean, we've really touched on many lives over the years. It's uh, And it's been a pleasure to do it because uh, they come back to visit. Yeah. A lot of them. They write to us, bring their children. We have children of children, which is great. Tell, tell me, please, about your kids and, and how their different strengths, the four of them, will work together to run the camp and continue and continue it going. They are amazing. How, as to how they handle themselves. They, nowadays I sit back and they take over pretty well uh, during the summer in that respect. And uh, it is hard at first for me to step back and uh, let that happen. You said that after the camp was in operation about 30 years, you had a family meeting and you had to discuss something that was offered to you. Tell okay. us about that. I was offered a very substantial offer. I called a meeting, I said, let's have dinner tonight. And I discussed with them what the offer was and uh, they had a short meeting afterwards. <laughs> Dad, we'll buy you out. I said, how the hell are you gonna buy me out? with the kind of money that I've been offered for this thing. You can't afford that. Well, we'll mortgage it up to the hill, get the money. I said, no, no mortgage. We've never had a mortgage and we won't have a mortgage. You can have it, give me a dollar. And that's what the way it was done. Okay. <laughs> do, you, do you feel in fact, Harold, that that you have fulfilled your wildest dreams? Absolutely. Absolutely. I agree. Never in my wildest dreams, I never expected this to be quite the way it is. 
you know, I started something and it's been successful. And that's important. <laughs>